When you will solve today, evil and malice has increased to a level that forces the limits of human intelligence. You felt the need to lean on the search on finding the origin of this problem to stop this. How could one drop a bomb on, a, on devout people who have gone to a church to perform their acts of worship? Or how could hundreds of thousands of people in, be massacred in Rwanda simply because they are from a different race? As a journalist, what do you think is the source of this motivation of violence on people? Well, uh, deep questions. Uh, first of all, we can say that on a geopolitical level, there are many forces interesting in creating chaos and interesting in creating wars because wars are first of all business, business for uh, armies, business for weapons, business for real estate, business for people uh, taking care of the migrants. Not all, in, uh, of, thanks God, it's not uh, not everyone. But there are uh, some cases in which we have this kind of situation. And on a second level, we see many civil wars in the war, especially many civil conflicts uh, raising in the West, uh, where we find many different people, many different group of people that fight against each other, that don't have a common identity, so they search for an identity in their clan, in their group, in their origins. And this can be uh, a deep problem for the West, because not giving a, a good uh, identity and, and not providing national values that can bring the people together inside a society and on the same time not respecting the, um, the human rights of some of the people living on the ground, well, this can bring to a civil clash and to a civil war that might be not concentrated in just one part, in just one point, in just one city, but can be widespread on all the European and on the Western continent and on the Western areas.